Ja. You need a thumbs up and I'll start. Good? All right. What's up, fellas? How you doing? First of all, congratulations. Here we are, 2016. You guys are all seniors, right? Yes, sir. All right. All I need you from left to right, right to left, doesn't matter. State your name and the position you play. Jacob Gonzalez, defensive end and tight end. Harrison Fernandez, quarterback, strong safety. Elias Oliveri, left tackle. Fernando Bryant, Okay. Now, question. Where are your parents from? My parents, they're both from New York City. But nationality-wise? Oh, uh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, right? So, my mother's Colombian and my father's Ecuadorian. My mother's Puerto Rican and my father's Italian. My mom's Salvadorian and that's Spanish. You understand why I say that? Because if, as we go, we know that the school is predominantly Latino. You know, this is one of the reasons we're telling the story. We want the world to know that Latinos are also balling and they're using football to go try to change their life and do great things. I think these next, you guys are the next generation of ballers who are obviously the school always already put somebody in the league. So I'm hoping not only you guys go to big universities, get a great education, but get an opportunity to play at that professional level. How long have you been living in Union City? Uh, I just, I've been living in Union City for about five years. Five years. So I've lived, I've lived in Union City my whole life, basically. So you grew up in Union City. I've been here my whole life. Okay. Okay. So you you see for real. You too. Okay. So you guys been born and raised, grew up in Union City. All right. Did you play you football here in Union City? Did you guys all play? I played eighth grade. That's when I first started playing football. You first started playing in eighth grade, so you didn't get a chance. So you played with the Chiefs maybe one year. Yeah, we won championship. Ah, with Massa, right? Yeah. Okay. I started playing football when I was in the fifth grade. Okay, so and how many years did you get a chance to play Pop Warner? Two, three? Uh, I played Pop Warner for about three years. Okay, so you played maybe two Warriors, one Chief, right? Something like that? So I played all the levels of uh, Pop Warner. So you, Seven you born, ago. raised, you're bred, your minor league, everything was yeah, yeah, UC. Same thing. Also, same, same thing. So when you mentioned five years, it means you, you had come back or something? Yeah. But basically, UC's always been there. You guys just tried some other place? Yeah. And said, Let me come back. Yeah. All right, awesome. All right. You guys plan on playing college football? Yes, sir. So I got your answer. Is there any specific schools, not that are necessarily recruiting on you? Do you have a specific school, a dream? Is there any, you know, that you're looking at? This is where I would love to play on Saturdays. I know y'all went Villanova football. It's not gonna stop that. Anyway, I mean, think about it. When your mind thinks about where do you want to play? Brooklyn uh, University. Okay. Right. I mean, I see myself playing. Uh, wherever I get the opportunity to play, I'll. Take good answer, good answer. Yeah, honestly, if it's free, it's for me. Okay, okay, they're getting that education. I think that's the key. That's the key, it's just getting that education. Yeah, you know, we, we talk about this society. This is why it's so important, you know. A lot of kids are going to school, but they create debt. I know a lot of, I deal with kids all the time. They're in school, and they might have graduated, but they have so much debt. You know, if you guys get a scholarship, that's half the battle. You know, I think in society today, it's about education and occupation, right? You could be a garbage truck guy, if you're making 150,000 a year, you can take care of your family pretty good. You could be a school teacher and make 40, but you still have the education. So it's about education and occupation. You still have the same at that same level. So that's why I think that's so important what you guys are doing. This coach is giving you guys an opportunity to get scholarships by preparing the type of program that you guys have. Um, coach, I don't know if you want to be here for this. Um, so how is it playing for Coach Valdez, and how has it that changed your life? Valdez has definitely turned me into the man I am today. I mean, he's molded me since I was, he's seen me since I was in seventh grade, eighth grade, and he just turned me into, you know, like, the a beast wise, you are. Beast, yeah, a wise <laughs> man that I am today. Uh, this is actually my first time playing for, for Coach Valdez, and I've been in this program for about four months now, and he's probably one of the greatest coaches I've ever had. Awesome. So, awesome. Awesome. There may be a few bumps down the road every day at practice, but Coach Valdez always manages to bring that spark, and he's always ready to go when we get here and we start warming up. Awesome. He's a player's coach, you know. He played at Miami, so he knows how it is. He tells it how it is. I got had a feeling when I seen the U, how they turned into yeah. the, that logo. I said, wait a second. He definitely did. I said, yeah, he went to UM. That makes sense. He knows how it is. He's, he's, a, he's a great coach. He made me who I am today. Awesome. Now, this is going to be the last question, and then we'll go. Um, what are your guys' expectations for this season, 2016? Med life. Med life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Well, most people that watch this don't know what MetLife is. Let them know what MetLife is. Who plays at MetLife? The Giants and the Jets play at MetLife, oh, right? Because most people are not going to know that unless you're from around here. Yeah. We're going to try to get this story to the world. Yeah. So, you know, so your whole goal is to try to make it to that chip, win a state championship. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, obviously, that's everyone's goal starting. But yeah. based on your past and how close you guys have gotten, right? Every time the semifinal and boom, and kind of getting bumped off. Our goal is basically just take one game at a time and just make sure we get our one game down, pack, and we move on to the next one. Just can't think about the end if we don't start now. I agree, I agree. I, I always pose that question just to see kind of where you're at. Coaches say the same thing. Your OG coach was like, one game at a time, I'm not going that far. So, you know, that's politically correct. And then, you know how you feel. Everyone wants to win a state championship. The key is putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, again, the coaches picked you. I, I get a chance now. I think I'm blessed to tell the story because um, I get a chance to kind of meet the reason why they do what they do. It's you guys. You feel me? You guys are the four. You know, hopefully there's a couple other that will get a shot. But basically, I bet what he's saying, you guys are the four that, that have that shot to get that next scholarship to give and continue to push this program. Because I'm gonna say how a program is built by the actions that you actually accomplish and take. He committed already. Oh, he committed already, so, all right. So, so I'm he, not gonna, and, see, and these two already have an offer. This kid has a 3.9 GPA, so oh, we're gonna try to get him in an Ivy League school and he's gonna be everybody's boss here. Okay, okay, that's, that's what that's I'm talking course. about. Well, now that we get into that, let me know the schools that are, that are looking at you guys. Uh, Which, I currently have an offer from uh, Monmouth University. Okay. Everybody committed to Delaware State. Okay, Delaware State, great Is that where Flacco came from? No, he went to Delaware. To the Delaware. Yeah. I've talked to coaches from Army, Monmouth, L State. Okay. You know, when I was in high school, my GPA was so high. You know, I got recruited by Ivy. I had a, back then the SATs were, uh, I think it was 800 and 1600. Yeah. So I was feel I got recruited by Ivy League schools. I committed to Annapolis Naval Academy. To my girlfriend, my junior year, since she was pregnant. I Irish coach wanted her to have an abortion, and I didn't have a father. I was like, nah. So you couldn't have a dependent and grown, and my life took another boom. I ended up joining the Army. It's a whole long story. But again, I want to commend you guys. Uh, you're going to see a lot of me, but again, I, what I wanted to tell you is I get a chance to tell the story because of you guys. And I mentioned the Pop Warner because I'm also going to incorporate them. I'm going to shoot them also because I want you guys, majority of you guys who were born and raised here, I want to tell the whole story. So I want to, you know, again, Congratulate you on what you've accomplished, but I know this is what you've been waiting for. Your senior year, every high school football player, right, coach? This is your year. This is what all those years of dealing with the Mickey Mouse Miller efforts over there, it's, this is the moment. You know what I'm saying? Most of your schooling is done. Let's be honest with you. Most of your schooling is done. This year, you know, your grades, I'm not saying they don't count. They count to graduate, but most of your schooling is done, your first three years. Unless you get a, you know, you can't really, you can improve your GPA, but most of it is done. So, again, thank you, fellas. It's going to be a long season, but hopefully it'll be worth it. And I hope that I'm also at MetLife with you guys filming this. And, you know, keep working hard and putting that UC name up there proud. And we'll go. We'll figure out out of you two which ones we'll pick. You being a quarterback, and I know you've been here, we're going to figure out how we also spotlight, most likely all of you guys, and we'll pick one day of the week as we go forward how we're going to go to your crib and things like that. All right? So yes, thank, thank you. you. Have a great right. season. Thank you. Thank you. Now, do you want to do coaches? We're here. Do you want to just do coach here too? Might as well.